Hello, my fellow eggheads method I have used to revive literally thousands of Dells with this problem. So uh, first thing you need to do is you're gonna need a screwdriver to get inside your Dell laptop. And Dell actually has your owner manual as you can look it up at dellsupport.com for how to get into your model of computer. But we're gonna skip ahead to the portion of when I'm actually inside the computer and I'm gonna show you what to do. So you're gonna look for your battery. As you can see, my battery pack is this big block right here and the cable's right there. I'm going to unplug that cable and I'm gonna use the process of elimination to see what's wrong with my computer. So the first step we're gonna do is we are going to release the flea power. I've unplugged my battery, my power cord is unplugged. Now I'm gonna hold down my power button for one minute. After that one minute is up, then I'm going to go ahead and release that button and I'm going to plug my battery back in because what I've done is release the fleet power which resets the system. And then I'm going to plug the computer back on and I'm going to see if it turns on. So I'm gonna take my power cord, go ahead and plug it back in, being careful not to touch any of those inside components. And with it plugged back in, I'm gonna hit the power button once again. If the computer instantly turns on, then that was the issue, you just needed a little reset. Uh, if you hit the power button, nothing happens. That's okay. We're going to try method two. Or you can see what it did just there where it kind of turned on and turned right off. That's not good either. So I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it slightly differently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my battery. And then I'm going to, once again, hold it, the power down for a minute and reset the system once again. Then I'm going to release the power button and do something slightly different. Once I've released the power button after a minute, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to plug the battery back. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to leave the battery unplugged and I'm going to put the power cord back. And what I'm going to do is I've reset the system, I'm plugging this in and I'm leaving the battery unplugged. So I'm using the process of elimination to see if there's an issue with my battery because if the computer turns on magically, well then I know it's an issue with my battery. I need to replace the battery. Now, the next one, method three, if this doesn't work, is we're going to now test the power cord. So, power cord is unplugged. Once again, we're using the process of elimination. The battery is unplugged, and we're going to re reset the system again. Then I'm going to release the power button, and I'm going to plug the battery back in. But this time, I'm going to leave the power cord not plugged in. And this way I know if the computer turns on and that power cord's not plugged in, then it was an issue with my power cord. So the reset and the lack of, uh, and, and the lack of power cord being plugged in fix it. I need to replace the power cord. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share.